Here's a video to show you how to calculate the delta G at standard conditions using the reduction potentials in an oxidation reduction reaction. So for our example, we have the reaction of oxaloacetate plus NADH going to malate to NAD plus. So the equation we use is the standard reduction potential related to delta G. Looks like that. It's a modified Nernst equation, if you remember that. So we know this. This is a constant. It's the Faraday constant. This is what we're calculating. This comes from the reaction, and this comes from the table of reduction potentials. So we need to figure out the two half reactions looking at the reduction potential table, which comes from your textbook. It looks like this. So we had oxaloacetate to malate. So that's one of them. And then the other one would be NAD plus to NADH. So these are our two half reactions. So let's write those down. Oxaloacetate goes to malate. And it's two hydrogen ions plus two electrons. And then we need the standard reduction potential for that reaction, which is in the table, minus 0.17. So E naught prime equals minus 0 0.17, and that's in volts. Then the second half reaction would be this one. So let's find that in the table. NAD plus to NADH. Notice it's written in reverse in the table, then it shows up in the actual reaction we're looking at. So when that happens, we have to change the sign of the reduction potential. So we'll write that reaction out. NADH goes to NAD plus, plus two electrons, plus a hydrogen ion. And I'm getting that just from the table. So NAD plus plus hydrogen plus two electrons equals NADH. The reduction potential is minus 0.32, but remember it's reversed, so you change the sign if you reverse the reaction. The magnitude's the same, but you change the sign if the reaction's reversed. So let's look at that one more time. The oxaloacetate to malate is minus 0.17. It's so oxaloacetate to malate, so that's written as it's written in the table, so we leave it exactly the same. The NADH goes to NAD plus. In the table, it's NAD plus to NADH, so we change the sign of the minus 0.32. So that's why I have plus 0.32. The delta E not prime is just simply the addition there. So the answer we get is, I should be able to do this in my head, it's 0.32 minus 0.17, and that equals a plus 0 0.15 volts. And then we put it into the equation. So we just solved for this parameter, that's that. So delta G not prime equals minus, N is the number of electrons. So if you look in your table, you'll see that oxaloacetate has a two electron change, NAD plus has a two electron change, and that's what I wrote down in like two half reactions. So N is going to be two, just the number of electrons, and then we times it by the Faraday constant, which is 96,500 joules per mole dot volts. And that's a constant which will be provided. And then we put in our delta E, which we just figured out is 0 0.15 volts. Do the calculation, and that would come out to be 0.15 times 96,500 times 2. That will equal 
and it's going to be minus because this is a plus plus minus so it's going to be minus two eight nine five zero, oh, and that's joules per mole because the volts cancel and in terms of significant figures we have two sig figs i guess based on the reduction potentials so this will round to minus um I guess it would be minus 2,900 joules per mole. So that would be our final answer. So the other thing you can answer about a question like this is, does the reaction run spontaneously as written? So what that means is when it's written in this format, does it run spontaneously? If your calculated answer is negative, the answer is yes. So this is a spontaneous reaction as written. You could also write the reaction in the reverse, the whole thing, malate plus NAD plus going to this side. And if you did the calculation, you'd get the same answer, but it would be positive. So in that case, it would be a non-spontaneous. As written, our delta G is negative, so it's spontaneous. All right, if you have any questions on that, just let me know.